Hello everyone and welcome to Dublin International Airport, which is located in Ireland. Today I'm taking a short flight home to London Gatwick Airport, so come with me to see what I thought of the low-cost airline Ryanair. Here is the Terminal 1 check-in area, but I'm already checked in, so straight to security for me. It is, however, a fair distance from security to the main lounge, as you have to walk through the duty-free area. I have a chance to see the wide variety of planes at Dublin Airport. The terminal has large glass windows which provide great views of the airport. The terminal seems clean and bright, which adds to the passenger experience. Here's one of Norwegian's new Boeing 737 Maxes heading off to America. As I'm on my way to the gate, I managed to catch this Air Transat A310 parked up. Gates 102 to 113 are all allocated to Ryanair flights. Essentially, it's a separate terminal. My flight today departs from gate 107, which is quite a long walk from the main terminal, so definitely leave enough time. Just to let you all know that you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see my pictures from all my flights and sneak peeks of future videos. I also post pictures and videos of all my trips as I do them, so if you're into aviation, make sure you check it out. It's now time to board, and for most of you who have travelled with Ryanair before, you'll probably know that the most of their flights board from the ground using stairs. Some people may find this to be a nuisance, but personally I prefer this. Do you? And here's my aircraft today, a Boeing 737-800, which is 13 years old at the time of this flight. Unfortunately, this aircraft utilises Ryanair's old cabin, which has been perceived to be quite uncomfortable. So stick around to hear my final conclusion of this flight at the end of the video. The boarding process with Ryanair is very hectic and chaotic, as it takes quite a while for people to find their seats, which is quite unpleasant and unwelcoming. But we are swiftly pushed back and begin our taxi on time. Unfortunately, due to the age of the aircraft, the windows were quite scratched, but I managed to film it best I could. As we quickly climb out of Dublin Airport, we have great views of the city out of the window. Soon, we're over the Irish Sea and heading southeast towards London. 
So our route today takes us down over the Isle of Man and through Wales before entering England and joining the traffic at Gatwick. Our flight will be cruising at 36,000 feet with a top speed of just over 500 miles per hour. So let's talk about the seat and cabin. To be completely honest, my seat is quite uncomfortable and the seat back material is quite thin and you can also feel the hard plastic of the back of the seat. Another aspect about these seats that I don't like is that they have no seat back pocket. I find these pockets very useful to store my belongings in, but here they're missing on the aircraft. As you may already know, the legroom on these seats is very poor, and being 6 foot 3 this was very uncomfortable. I would certainly not recommend a flight longer than one hour in one of these seats. On the other hand, Ryanair's new Boeing Sky Interior cabins are much nicer than these old ones. You may also want to note that these seats don't recline. You really do get the bare minimum on the flight. I have to say that the seat tray was also quite unclean, probably because it had not been cleaned since the last flight from Copenhagen. However, I didn't use this during the flight so it was not a big issue for me. One thing I did like about the airline is the huge variety of food and drinks on board. However, this was limited for people with special dietary requirements. The prices were also relatively reasonable for airlines. The crew on this flight were very nice and professional and I could not fault this. The flight becomes quite turbulent here as we fly through the thick cloud on approach to Gatwick. I love the turbulence though, do you? So, how was the flight overall? Well, I got what I expected really, and got my money's worth. Overall, the seat was showing some age, and it was quite uncomfortable. There were also no seat back pockets, which was quite inconvenient, and the legroom was fairly poor. However, this flight did only cost me 15 pounds, so I can't really complain. The boarding process was very chaotic, and it took ages for everyone to find their seats. You really do get the bare minimum on Ryanair flights. However, the cabin crew were very nice and we arrived on time. Ryanair also offers a wide range of in-flight refreshments and the flight was extremely cheap. I would fly with Ryanair again if the prices were this low and if the flight was short, but I would probably invest in a more expensive flight if it meant comfort and overall passenger experience was improved. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe for weekly videos. Until next time, this has been Cite Aviation Planespotting, goodbye.